What up, guys? <clears throat> Mad Viking here. Um, I got a couple boxes. I could make a short video, so I figured I'd sit down and do it. Need to get my mind off all this election bullshit. Uh, I've been hunting the last few days because it frees your mind. So that was good. I did find some stuff yesterday. Nothing amazing. I did find a riddle in the wild, but I just bought in, in one of my last videos. You've seen it. I had bought two video, uh, riddles off of somebody in one of these groups I'm in. So I didn't feel the need to buy another one, but I was watching a friend of mine's Unstables video. He found the same display, and I didn't realize how many figures were coming out in that display. And those scalpers had picked everything good over. I'm assuming one of these boxes is one of the items from that line that I wanted, and I'm probably gonna buy a lot more of this figure, and I'll explain when I get to it if it's th if it's this figure, because I really don't know yet, because there's something special that comes with it, and there's only been a few figures like that in the past, and they become very pricey later down, later later on down the road. I will say, if, if it is one of these figures, which I think it is, you can get it on Amazon right now for pr face price, face value. So, uh, let me get into it real quick. Uh, tomorrow's Friday. Uh, I'm going to Full Gear in Jacksonville. If this all goes wrong, this election, uh, I think we're going back into lockdowns, and this could be the last big event for the next God knows how long that... I'll be going to that. I, I don't know. I just don't want to get into it. I, I can't do lockdowns again. I just can't. Oh, now this figure too. Is it both? It is. I bought two. I was smart enough. I didn't delay or dilly dally like I usually do. Procrastinate on a figure and then I go back to go buy it whenever and it's not there. I knew this was probably going to become an issue with this figure, even though it was not a popular figure. Nobody wants it, but if you're a completist, collector, whatever, you want this figure. Well, now, Series 2 is literally days away from coming out, right? So, are they? how are people that are still looking for this figure going to get it? I must have got on the last dying days of being able to pre-order it, or pre-order it again, because it wasn't the original pre-order, to get it. And I've been seeing people get it all month. And I was like, oh, it's coming any day, any day, any day. It didn't come any day. It came today. Uh, and that's what inspired this video. And I did buy two because I opened, you see, I had I did a figure review of the first line minus this figure. But God, I just can't think, I can't pull myself to opening this figure. I should have ordered three because this figure is, I don't know what it's going for online already. But I'm sure it's going for a pretty price, and it's going to continue to go for a pretty penny. Uh, and that figure, what I'm referring to, is Brandy Rhodes from the AEW Unrivaled Series Wave 1. And of course, I have one, and I have two. Uh, so, like I said, I want to open it, but I just don't think I can do it. I can't do it. So... This, today's delivery was Brandy Series 1. For, for anybody who knows when Series 2 comes out, because that's going to be probably the end of me figure hunting, because the future is dark. It's just dark. And I'm not going to be blowing money on frivolous things. I'm being told to sell my entire collection right now why people still have money, because uh, I won't get what I want for it later on down the road, which I'm not... Um, which I'm not arguing with. At least these figures are not damaged. They're mint. I will say that. So let me put them back in the box so they don't get damaged. As you can see, I'm very optimistic about what's what's ahead. <laughs> uh, we're, we've been told a dark winter's coming, and uh, folks, he wasn't lying when he said it. So let me get into box number two, which I believe is the other figure. Uh, that I'm referring to from the display case that is just popping up in Walmarts now. One of many figures, as I shouldn't say uh, other, another, whatever. I shouldn't say one or whatever. It's a one of, literally, when you realize how many figures are in that line and in that display, it's almost mind-numbing. They're just churning figures out. Churn yeah, and I think it is, because, uh, yep. 
so that figure which I am referring to is probably going to end up being the most popular figure ever of this guy. Xavier Woods, which is a really good line. You got Io Shirai, uh, Woods, or uh, Big E, Bobby Fish, which everybody's looking for, and Xavier Woods. And you're probably like, what's the big deal about Xavier Woods? Why is this figure so popular? Well, for one, it is just like every other Xavier Woods, except um, you still get F Francesca. You do get a second head, which I can't remember where he wore that at, a WrestleMania or something. But what you do get, because um, Kingston and Big E are also in this line, and they all come with tag team titles. Well, he comes with the Up, Up, Down, Down title from his video game channel on YouTube. So you can mark this up right now. This figure is going to end up being like uh, Zack Ryder's uh, Internet Championship uh, title. And it's going to be very collectible. And a year or two from now, it probably will be selling for hundreds of dollars. It's probably selling very pricey right now. But like I said, I was up late at night or something, and I just scanned uh, Amazon. and Or no, I was watching something, and they're like, what makes, because they mentioned the belt. That's what makes this figure so cool. So as you can see, I have two. And no, I will not be opening him. Like I said, uh, if um, I probably will be ordering some more from Amazon and just putting them away. They're investments. A lot of my stuff, this is how it started figure collecting, because I called them my retirement, uh, my insurance policy on retirement, <laughs> my retirement fund. There it was. And some figures will do that. I mean, they're not going to, I'm not going to retire on a figure, but I mean, I've got those DX figures from what, Series 3 through Series 4, they still go for $1,000, the three of them. Uh, I mean, we all know what um, SEX, SES, uh, CM Punk goes for. I've got two. I've got some of the very old classics that sell for two, $300. I mean, I have a great collection. But like I said, I'm just not to that point yet, but I probably should be. I should probably just... I'm getting dark. <laughs> I should... I should... <laughs> I probably should be liquidating and banking it. I can always collect and get it back later on, but I mean... It is what it is. So I got this last box, and I know what it is. How did this happen? I was on Amazon again, and I was looking for this figure specifically, and I got it for $25 and I think it's it was on Amazon but it was on came from ringside and so did those two figures that's funny I guarantee you that figure is probably $30 $40 on ringside right now uh, so this came from ringside but it was off of Amazon $25 and you're probably asking what what's the, what's the big deal well it is the Bobby Fish from the same line that I just showed you and it's the Chase, but you can't tell because the belt's in the way. It is the Chase Bobby Fish. $25. Amazon. And we only had one, so uh, don't get all worked up and think you're jumping on Amazon and getting it. So, Ringside will screw you over on their website, but they'll post shit on Amazon for face value. Isn't that crazy? A little bit crazy. So... Yeah, the other when I was out the other day, this is some of them. Oh God, you tell uh, what's his face is in the line? Jeez, damn scalpers! Uh, all right, yeah, I've only seen this line maybe twice, and it's always AJ. I did stumble on Elizabeth, and I bought her. If Flassie's in that line, I didn't get him. I've never seen him. You're seeing Ronda shell forming right now from that line. But um, God, what was his name? The Graham. God, if I would have found him in the wild yesterday, I would have been so excited. So I did find a riddle. I did pick up our truth. I was dying for an R truth. I said if I saw two, I would buy two because I would open it and keep the belt and whatever. There was a bunch of Naomi's, oddly enough, but I couldn't even tell you if there was what the chase looks like. I have no idea. There was like five Naomi's there, which I would think is odd because it's her first elite. I would think that would be super hot, but then again, this is a male dominated sport toy line i can see past it but most people can't that's why you can still find that charlotte flair in the white box sitting on shelves in stores 
And that's why they don't generally pump out figures. That's why you're seeing Rondo shell forming. Um, I did see the Randy. I saw the Kofi. That's it, though. So, still can't find any Ultimates. And I think if I find this, whatever it is, the Hitman Goldberg 2-pack, which I thought was stupid originally, but I didn't know what I was looking at at the time, he comes with the WCW world title. I'm not world. Yeah, is it the world title? Or or a U.S. title, one of the two. I don't remember Goldberg and Hitman fighting for the U.S. title. I don't even think Goldberg was still in the company or whatever when Hitman joined. But Oh, no, he did because that's their famous feud, but he wasn't there long. That's when he wore that chest plate, which was a playoff, one of those Clint Eastwood movies. I have still yet to see this two-pack of China and Triple H. I do need to buy that. They're advertising Chris Jericho a little bit of the bubbly, but I guarantee you that that is not in stock. Yeah, the last time I looked, it wasn't available until, like, March. <laughs> so I ended up paying a dude from one of my wrestling groups. I think I paid 60 bucks, and I was going to buy another one for 60 bucks, but I sat, too, I sat around too long, and he sold them all. So, whatever. But, I mean, they're going to have that little bit of the bubbly figure forever. So anyways, guys, that is it for now. I'm not going to rant. I'm not going to get dark. It is what it is. We have to deal with it. But I don't think it's time to tap out, that's for sure. But anyways, hit like, leave a comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future content. If you haven't seen yet, man, go see my intro video. That made my day. Um, the Young Bucks do it. gave me a shout-out. I'm using it for my intro on the channel. Um, uh, a little pricey for what it is, but what it, when I get the items, I'm going to use probably two of them and do a giveaway. Because for some, for some weird reason, I want to do a giveaway. <laughs> Even though, like I said, my channel went up a little bit, but it hasn't done anything basically all year. Um, like I would have... Planned on doing another one at 2000 but I mean, God, that could be five years from now. I don't know what's going on. I swear my stuff is suppressed. But go see my shout-out video. It's going to be right under this video. Uh, I'm going to full gear. I want to go and buy a camera so I can actually get good pictures of the event. Um, I can't really take video there. I got copyrighted for one video at um, All Out, which I didn't really get. It was like a highlight clip video, and literally the internet was scoured with clips and highlights and whatever from other sites. I didn't even post it right away, and somebody, I don't know, I got copyrighted. So it's still active until December. I could care really if I lose the channel. I, will just, I would just go to a different site, but I'm not going to push it. So I don't think you'll see too much footage, maybe on Instagram. Because I don't think Instagram gives a shit and who's policing Instagram. So if uh, I get any video that's in whatever from the event, it'll probably be on Instagram. Same name, Mad Viking. Um, and like I said, I'm going there on Saturday under the impression that this is probably it again for a while. And when I say a while, it's probably going to be it for a lot longer than what we went through the first time around. Because this is what they want. So, I don't know. I'm going to have fun while I'm there, and I guess we just got to ride the lightning and see how this goes. And, I don't know. When it, when we get there, we get there, I guess. We either go through it or we don't. And I'm not giving up, but I'm not happy about it. Let's just say that. So, I don't know, guys. Prayers for a good outcome. I think you all are well aware of what I'm referring to. And uh, that is it for now, guys. Hit like, comment, all that. Um, I'll probably release the second half of last week's AEW show, which I have yet to upload. Oh, God, I was going to do a full gear predictions video. It would be really stupid to put two videos out in one day. Well, maybe I'll upload that now and get that out. I mean, if you watch it, you watch it. It was a good show. Lightly attended. I don't know why, but it was. And uh, I don't think anybody's clamoring to hear my predictions from full for full gear, but if I do one, I do one. You'll probably see that. What is it? Today's 
today's Thursday. I don't know. I would have to wake up tomorrow and do it and put it out there. Um, so I don't know if I do it, you'll see it. Please watch it. All that stuff. Mad Viking out. My cat's now here. So I guess it's time to stop talking. Um, appreciate everyone. Thanks for watching. Mad Viking out.